The blood of the dead easter egg has some quite time consuming steps for solo players like running around the entire map to find the bird on 4 separate rounds or guessing a 5 or 10 digit long morse code in a small cell while also dealing with a zombie. In this video I'm going to show you how can you fast up these steps because they have an actual real solution that makes them easier. Let's start with the bird step. If you are not familiar with it, you have to find the bird 4 times once per run but it has more than 40 locations. However, the first bird will always spawn inside the prison to one of these 3 locations. The new trick comes in after you have spirit blasted the first bird. End the run at the upper gondola platform and at the very beginning of the next run you can see the trail of the second bird for a split second. So in my game the second bird was flying to the left and a little upwards which is the rooftop so I went there and I find the bird. Same thing goes for the third bird. As you can see in my game it flew straight below me so I search the citadel tunnels and the prison and I find it in the original spawn room. Basically doing this will let you know the general area of the second and the third bird to complete this step faster. I want to give a huge shout out to the no time screw and maniac for actually noticing this. And the fourth and final bird will always spawn really close to the citadel tunnel number pad because you need zombie blood to finish this step like I did in this video. Let's talk about the real solution to the Morse code step. Right after you have spirit blasted the orb at the docks, three buoys are going to display a 5 digit morse code, each corresponding to a number. The first buoy can be seen from the upper gondola platform, the second one is just outside of the catwalk, and the third and final one can be seen from the spawn building. To see the morse code you have to look through your spectral shield, but I recommend listening to it because when 0 is displayed the last flash is shorter making it look like 9 which can mess up your entire step and you have to check them all over again. But you can do this multiple times the code always starts when you look through your shield and has a big break to indicate the restart. So in my game the first buoy was 8, the second one was 6 and the third was 6 as well. Now we need to add these 3 numbers to get the number which is our final morse code for this step. In my game this was 20. If you get a 2 digit number like I did, you have to convert both digits into a morse code and enter them. So basically 20 is 2 and 0. Let's say you get 15, it's going to be 1 and 5. So all we have to do now is to enter this code in the cell and the morse code part of the step is done. I want to give a huge shout out to Olivier Bureau for this correct solution, definitely helped out a lot of people already. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.